हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल आई एम सुदर्शन आई एम थर्ड ईयर एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट एट वी टी जे एम सी लाथुर एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज माई स्थेनिया ग्रेविस सो वॉट आर द क्वेश्चन दैट आर आस्क इन योर एग्जाम्स रिगार्डिंग माई स्थेनिया ग्रेविस फर्स्टली दे विल आस्क द डेफिनेशन ऑफ माई स्थेनिया ग्रेविस द मसल्स इन्वॉल्व द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ माई स्थेनिया ग्रेविस एंड डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट फॉर माई स्थेनिया ग्रेविस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लर्न द डेफिनेशन Uh, so what is definition it is an autoimmune disorder it is caused due to development of antibodies against nicotinic receptors at neuromuscular junction so in case of autoimmune disorders uh, we all know that auto antibodies are formed so in this case antibodies are formed against nicotinic receptors at the neuromuscular junction nmj means neuromuscular junction Uh, then in this case in myasthenia gravis nm receptors reduced to one third of the normal which causes weakness and easy fatigability of the muscles now muscles involved firstly eyelid muscles extraocular muscles facial muscles and pharyngeal muscles are involved later on limb muscles and respiratory muscles are involved in case of myasthenia gravis death may also occur due to respiratory muscle paralysis now the treatment which is most important part guys so there are five treatments available for myasthenia gravis new first is neostigmine and its congeners second thymectomy third is corticosteroids fourth is immunosuppressants and fifth is plasma pheresis now we will uh, look at this uh, look at this five treatments and uh, now we will go one by one first is neostigmin and its congeners so neostigmin these are first line drugs in case of myasthenia gravis treatment they restore the muscle strength and improves muscle contraction dose of neostigmin is 15 mg orally neostigmin no how so now how neostigmin benefit in case of myasthenia gravis neostigmin accumulation causes accumulation of acetylcholine and acetylcholine act on receptors over the large area which give which results in cholinergic effects and improvement in case of myasthenia gravis atropine is also given to block the muscarinic side effects of neostigmin this is important atropine guys now next next is thymectomy what is thymectomy thymectomy it's surgical removal of thymus so in this case gradual improvement and even complete remission have been have been seen and it is advised in the patient with generalized weakness patient with thymoma and younger patients why younger patients because it can give the complete remission okay now third treatment is corticosteroids corticosteroids benefit in case of myasthenia gravis by its immunosuppressant action they inhibit the antibody production against nicotinic receptors and they may increase the synthesis of nicotinic receptors in this case prednisolone 30 to 60 mg per day is given then next is immunosuppressants like azathioprine and cyclosporine uh, they inhibit the nicotinic receptor antibody synthesis by affecting the t cells that is t lymphocytes last is plasma pheresis what is plasma pheresis it is removal of antibodies it produces uh, dramatic but short lived improvement because uh, after some time new antibodies also form then uh, last is diagnostic test for the uh, uh, myasthenia gravis so three diagnostic tests are available first is ameliorative test or hydrophonium test phonium test second is provocative test by d tubo curarin and muscle biopsy specimen so we will uh, study in detail the hydrophonium test because uh, this is asked in your exams uh, so in this test we will give uh, the hydrophonium 2mg intravenous to the patient if improvement uh, is seen then this is the case of myasthenic crisis and if there is no improvement or even worsening of the muscle worsening of the condition occurs then this is the case of cholinergic crisis this is the test dose guys 2mg then uh, after that we will give the uh, remaining 8 mg intravenously and then if improvement occurs then this is the case of myasthenia gravis and if no improvement is there then this is the case of uh, any other autoimmune muscle disorder like uh, muscle dystrophy and all so thank you for watching 
एंड इफ़ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल